Hi, welcome. This is Beth Kluth from Ink Art by Beth Kluth. I've been making these little canvas, little mini stretched canvas ornaments um, for a holiday fair that's coming up. And people have been asking how I'm going to finish them, finish them off as ornaments. Um, and so I'm going to do that with a ribbon and I'll show you right now how I'm going to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is some of these are, let me measure, some of these are two and a half inches wide, some of them are three inches wide, um, but whatever the width, you want to find the midpoint. So I have the midpoint of the top here. I'm going to use this little, um, it's like a little Dremel tool, but it's, I don't know, Hardell. I'll put the link to where I got it. I got it on Amazon. It was not very expensive and it comes with a ton of different attachments, different size um, little screws like this or drills. It's for sanding, there's polishing bits, um, lots of cool stuff. But I'm just going to drill a pilot hole right at the midpoint. And I'm going to go all the way through. Sometimes it takes a couple times. So I'm going all the way through that wood frame. And it really helps to, um, to drill this little pilot hole. Um, it really, I don't know, it just makes putting in these um, eye screws so much easier. So these are um, oh, eight and a half millimeter wide, I believe. I'll put these in the comments as well. Um, but it's very easy once you have that, once you have that pilot hole, you can just start screwing this in. And as soon as you feel like it's steady and it's straight, then the easiest way to do this is I just stick a I just stick a paintbrush through the hole and then I can just twist it until it's all the way screwed in. And I want to have it so that the hook is this way. Um, I've I'm then what I do is I just sign these on the back. <clears throat> with the year. Um, I just use a little Posca pen for that. Um, I am going to probably put a little strip of cardboard across the back that has my website address on it. I don't want to cover the entire back because if I do that, I was thinking of doing it with craft paper. The minute somebody, if I glue that on there, the minute somebody actually pushes on it, it could rip it and then the back looks terrible from then on. Um, also, I want them to see that it's a little stretched canvas on the back. So I'm thinking just a little piece of strip of cardboard. I'll glue it on the ends here. And all it's really going to have is my name and um, my website address. So then once I have this, um, I had gotten a selection of ribbons. This is just from Dollar Tree. There is red with a gold stripe, white with a silver stripe. I really like this little green with the sort of stitching on the sides. Um, and for this one, I think I'm going to use this. It's a cream color with gold stripe. And for these smaller ornaments, I'm going to just use about 12 inches. <clears throat> show you here. About 12 inches of ribbon. And I'm going to get the, find the middle. I'm going to sort of fold it in half this long way and then in half this way. I'm going to push it through this hole and it's important to do it from the front through to the back. You'll find, you'll see in a minute why. Ooh, that's hard to get sometimes. You can use a paintbrush to sort of shove that through. Oh, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. So half and then in half again. And just stick that corner through and I should be, there we go. So when you go front to back, <clears throat> then you can put these little pieces through the hole and you'll have very nice finished front. Just want to get this ribbon straight. There we go. I'm going to pull it tight. And that ribbon just covers up that 
the eye hook really nicely. You have a nice little thing on there. Um, it looks better than the back does, so that's why when I'm attaching the ribbon, put it front to back. And then I'm just going to put those two together and tie a knot up at the top. I'm trying to get it as far up to the top as I can. So I'll just pull that little knot up there, pull these apart. Because when you hang it on the tree, you, you don't want it to be like this because then when you hang it on a branch, it's going to be sideways. You want it to have the opening like that. So the branch will come through and it will show very nicely on the tree. And then if you have any at the top, you could cut that off if you want or I'll just cut a little bit off so it's not so. And that's how I'm going to finish them into ornaments. So I thought you might want to see that. Um, I'll put the link to the drill, <clears throat> these eye hooks, and um, I'll put those into the comments on the video. The ribbon is 5 8 inch thick, which I, I like that. It could be a little thinner, but I really do like the thicker look. And um, that's all there is to it. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.